Did you know about the real-life doomsday vault in Norway? Welcome to the Svalbard Seed Vault. Countries from all over the world send their seeds to the vault for storage. The goal of the vault is to keep all of the world's seeds safe in any event that may occur in the future. The entire structure has been specially designed to survive even the most extreme conditions. It's buried into the mountain, surrounded by almost 400 feet of rock at its deepest point. The permafrost around it keeps a permanent temperature at negative four degrees Celsius. Even if the cooling system fails, the seed bank underground will stay frozen. The entrance is a long tunnel into the mountain with at least five doors before you make it to the proper vault. Inside, the vault is divided into three. Once all of them are filled, there will be three million individual species of plants with around 500 different samples for each inside. Already countries like Syria have made withdrawals to recover from the destruction of their own seed bank during a civil war. But can the Svalbard seed vault really survive a doomsday? Global warming is changing the earth even beyond what scientists can guard against. In 2016, the permafrost stopped being permanent. It began to melt in the heavy rain, flooding the vault entrance. Thankfully, the seeds were fine, but the vault had to be quickly renovated. It cost 11.7 million US dollars, double the project's initial price. The permafrost could no longer be trusted to stay solid like rock. What could this mean for the future of the world? We might not know, but the Svalbard seed vault is determined to survive it. And with the agricultural treasure trove inside, our survival as a species might just depend on it. What do you think? What other doomsday vaults do you know of?